Hi guys, it's Raxiano here. Welcome back to my channel. I will be covering selecting books from a library and recognizing that your character has them. This would be useful if you want to obtain items and use those items in your game. Let's get to it! So in this sample project that I've created before, we're going to go all the way down to the library and where she says, hey, you looking for a specific type of book, we're going to add the library right down here. Since this is already a pretty full scene, I'm going to create a new scene with the library feature in it. So we are going to change scene, new scene that we will call library menu. Put it right under library. And here we will create a menu. And I have prepared some visuals for this already, which we can interact with in this game. So I'm going to add the background for the library menu. And I shall grab that from my computer. Graphics, backgrounds, import. I'm going to add this background that I've created beforehand. For the bookshelf, it has three books on it. Oops, not this. Bookshelf two. Secrets of the Wealthy. Don't ask me what's inside because I wouldn't know. Detective Club, a fictional own book. And this cringy How to Be a Neko book to choose from. Slim Pickens. For us to take out these books, we will need an image map, first off. We will do that with show image map and add the bookshelf as the image map image. And we can add three hotspots, one for each of the books. And we will add labels for each of the books, as usual. Call this one Wealthy. This one Detective. And this one Nico. This one will jump to. Jump to do detective. This one will jump to go. Then we will also add a common. And I like to use number variables for everything. <laughs> It's just easier for me that way. We will call this Secrets of the Wolf. And we will set it to 10. If it's 10, we have the book. If it's 0, we don't have the book. And it'll be simple as that. And this value can be literally anything you want, as long as you remember what it means that you have the book. It could be one, it could be two, it could be five, doesn't matter. And then we are going to do a jump. Com jump to common, just so that we don't obtain all the books by accident when we just mean to obtain one book. Do 
Erase image map here is important because you want the menu to go away after you choose your book. You don't want it to stay there when other things are supposed to happen next in your game. And we won't really be able to see what's going on quite yet, but we can have Lucy join the scene. And then have her say something. She'll just be like, good choice, happy to be of service. Yeah, she's your friend, but she's there to help you pick out your books, mainly. That's her main function as an NPC in this game. You can cha go to... okay, after school is where you will go. And that'll be the end of that scene. Now, you might be asking, where can these books come into play? And the answer is simple. As long as you use the variables, they can help you anywhere. So I will actually build a scene where one of these books can come into play. Just to show you that you can use your items that you obtain in your game. Alright, where will it be? I was originally going to use the classroom scene because it hasn't been used yet, but I got this better idea to use Willow's house. And in order to get to Willow's house, you will need Willow points first, but the books will come into play here, I promise. <laughs> first we will check the number. And one of these books we need to have in order to unlock this scene. I'm gonna use Detective Club. So if it is 10, it will jump to book scene label. And I will create this book scene label all the way down here. And in this book scene label, we will change the scene to a new scene called Willow Detective, just to give it a, a name. We'll put it right under Willow's house. Actually, we'll put it inside Willow's house. And I'll put this library menu inside the library. Just to keep it nice and organized so we know what's related to what. We can change the background to Willow's house. And we will have Willow join. Should we study? Because what else do you do with friends other than study? Don't answer that. So I just made the scene and you guys don't get to see it yet because we are going to play through the game just to show you how it works. So there are a few things we have to do first in order for this to work as I intended to. We are going to have to befriend Willow and we are going to have to go to the library in order to obtain the book. And it'll take two day cycles to do that before we can finally unlock the scene. So first we are going to ignore Lucy, so we can go and befriend Willow. And she'll say, she'll say that we should study together. I gain the proper Willow points that I'll need to go to her house. And 
when school's over. So she'll say, yep, thank you for coming over. You can visit me anytime. So then we'll go over here. Where will I go now? We'll go to the library to get the book. She can point us in the right direction. We'll get the detective club. She'll be like, good choice. And I forgot to remove the message box over there. That's why it stayed overlaid. But if you can remove the message box after the scene, that won't be an issue. Just as a side note. So now that we've got the detective club book, we can now go over to Willow's house. Hey, thanks for visiting. And then she'll say she will study. Yeah, I need help with bio. I heard you're smart in that subject. Oh no, I can't find my pencil. I know it's around here somewhere in my room. I got this. I'm a good detective. Oh yeah? What are your qualifications? This book, I picked it up at the library because I love mysteries. Wow, that's like my brother's favorite book. You talking about me in here, Willow? It's Owen. Owen and Willow's brother. Uh, what's this loser doing here? And I put that over his face because I haven't created any other expressions for him, nor James. So, that'll have to do for now. He's your brother? Get away from my sister, Dorcas. Cool it. We're just friends. Ha 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 ha. You guys are cute. Let's all form a detective club together. No, I'm out of here. And that scene. And if we didn't go to the library to get that book, that scene never would have happened. If you want me to prove it, I can show you what happens if we don't go to the library first. I'm going to ignore her, be friends with Willow. She's from math class. Let's study together. Next day, school's over. She says, you can visit the house anytime. School ends for the day. Where will we go now? Willow's house. Hey, thanks for visiting. And that's all. The scene does not trigger because we did not go to the library first to get the detective club book. So that is how we can use items in our game. And I hope this was very educational for you. This is kind of a short one, I know. Uh, but I hope that you learn from it and are able to use items in your own game now. With that, you can pick up, you know, items anywhere from a shop, from a menu. Once you get it, it can become active in your visual novel if you so choose. And so yeah, thank you for watching this video. And I hope you will see the next video as well. Happy developing!